Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So if you are new to my channel, my name is Esmeralda. I do beauty related videos and I also throw in like story times and advice kind of videos and Q&As and stuff like that so I do a little bit of a mix of everything or at least I try so today's video I'm going to be telling you guys um, if you guys are OG supporters maybe you saw this in my last my other channel that got suspended um, I looked so different in that video let me tell you guys I had black hair in that video but my makeup was nice in that video so anyways um, I'm gonna tell you guys the reason I don't work at Ulta anymore and kind of the story time and everything and kind of explain myself because even on that video I had so many questions over like the way I did things and like why I did things that way. So I'm going to tell you guys the real reason why I don't work at Ulta and also I mentioned it in my giveaway and vlog video that I used to work there and I went and like visited and stopped at that Ulta in that video. So anyways we're going to talk about it. Don't know, which I feel like I say this in pretty much most of my story times. Um, I have like a little series playlist of like salon story times, and I guess this kind of incorporates with that. I was a licensed cosmetologist and I was looking for work. I wanted to work in a salon, you know, I wanted to do hair. Makeup was my main thing. So I was like, if I work at Ulta, maybe I could do. So I was like, I think I really want to do that because it'll give me a chance to do makeup and hair. And that's pretty much all I wanted to do. So at that time I was at a beauty school for like, I want to say like a month or two months. And so I had my, or no, I hadn't had my license. I think that I was still waiting for them to send me my license, but I had already passed and taken my test and everything, so I was technically already professional. I was just waiting for my license to come in the mail. So I go to Ulta, I fill out this application, um, they send me nothing, I filled it out online, and they didn't say anything for a whole month, and then within that month, I actually is when I passed my test and they started to send it to me. So, Ulta took a month to respond to my application. They called me in for an interview. I was there with like two other girls. It was a very basic interview. They asked you like the typical questions like why do you want to work here and like um, what's your like favorite like makeup products and like they were asking all of those kinds of obvious questions. So I started answering all of these questions. It was kind of like whatever. Um, Mind you, I was like the only girl in, out of those three girls that had like a beat face of makeup, I was like, I'm going to ace this freaking interview and they're going to hire me. And the other girls, they just kind of were like, not to be, not to toot my own horn, but their answers were kind of like, that's the wrong answer. <laughs> like they would ask, um... So do you see yourself going forward with this company and like do you like is this just a job for you or do you want to get higher ranked in this job and like move up or like what's your you know do you really want this job and I mean at least they were all their responses were like no this is just like a job like I just need a job because like I I'm looking for a job and that legit was the response that they both gave her and I was like yeah like I'd be down to move up you know like whatever like if the opportunity arises like why not so she just kind of was like okay okay and so then I put on my application that I actually was a licensed cosmetologist and like all this stuff so she's like OMG so you actually are licensed to do hair and makeup and everything so I'm like yeah you know I'm thinking it's gonna boost you know like upgrade me so I end up going um or she's like telling me all this stuff she's like you know what this was one of the general manager, or this is one of the managers. She's like, you know what? You should talk to the salon manager and see if she'll hire you and you can be like one of the hairdressers and you can work in the salon. So I'm like, okay, like that sounds dope. Like, you know, whatever. So, I mean, I was like, yeah, let me like talk to her. And so she came in super nice. She ended up being, I remembered her and she was one of my best friends when I was like in junior high and that was her hairdresser. And so I like recognized her and I was like, OMG, you know, recognized. And so all this stuff, so she was like, yeah, for sure, for sure. So I told her I wasn't really comfortable because um, 
when you go into beauty school, they literally don't teach you anything. It's up to you after school to go ahead and advance and learn more because you really just don't know anything once you get out of beauty school. So I'm like, yeah, I'm just not like super confident in my skills. I feel like I didn't learn a lot in beauty school. So like if I could maybe just watch a little bit or you could like teach me the way you like to do things and like um, do like demo classes and stuff like that or something. I don't know. I was just telling her, you know, I was being honest with her. So she goes, no, yeah, that's totally fine. Um, you can start as like a receptionist, which was like, they called me like a beauty coordinator. Basically I was a receptionist. I worked on the computers. I did appointments and stuff like that basically. And I cleaned up after the stylist, which was the most annoying part. Cause it's like, whatever, you know, part of the job. So I ended up like doing all this kinds of stuff for the stylist. <sighs> people that work at Ulta, um, the people that particularly worked at this location, this is not every Ulta, this was just this particular location. The hairstylists were very snobby, very up their own butts. They were very, very, they thought they were better than everybody. And these were not young girls either. These were women that probably were already in their 30s and they were acting super catty and petty and I just could not deal with it. <laughs> That's not the type of person I am. I'm a very like humble person and I just can't stand when people are like that. So they already were rubbing me the wrong way. I was like, yeah, not vibing with none of you. Basically, every time I would go, this town I worked at that had this Ulta, like I mentioned in my other video, it is about like a 35 to like 45 minute drive. So it's pretty far for me. And it was, I remember I worked there in July because I remember it was like July 4th and everything. So I worked there in like those like summer months and I remembered she just completely like, the manager was never there. And so the general manager, she's the one that like took care of all three sections. So like she took care of the salon, she took care of the high-end makeup and she took care of like the drug, sto drug store side. So she kind of took care of everything. And she would constantly send me home because we were not busy enough, which basically was like, we weren't busy because there wasn't a lot of people around in the stores. And I worked in the salon section. So like if we weren't busy in the salon section, she like would want to pick me out of there and she'd want me to be on the floor basically helping at the registers in the front. She'd want me to be cleaning shelves. And it's like, no, like I work in the salon section, you know, like I clean up up, up after stylists. I do appointments. I, I help people with like hair products if they have a question like, hey, what, what do you recommend? And it's like, oh, I recommend this product. That's like my job description. That's what I was hired to do. So it was really annoying when like the general manager lady was like, oh my gosh, and she was trying to put me at every other location. And that's like not what I signed up for and that's not why I wanted to be hired. And so that was one bad thing. So they would constantly be sending me home if they were not busy. So I would literally, one time I drove an hour and I worked, I kid you not, for 30 minutes and then they sent me home. So it was ridiculous. I was like, no, I do not have the gas money. I am not putting miles on my car to come all the way over here just for you to send me right back home. And my paychecks look like crap from doing this. Yeah, basically I just didn't do anything. Um, my manager very much kind of led me on saying she was gonna help me and I was kind of gonna be like her assistant, I guess, like apprenticing under her. And I was gonna be handing her foils and I was gonna be watching her technique and watching how she did hair. And every time she did work, which was very rare that we worked at the same days and the same times, she just kind of would like, like, why are you not cleaning the sinks? Why are you not like doing something else? So she never taught me how to do anything. So I honestly, like there was not going to be, like I, she probably was not thinking of stepping me up to be a stylist or anything. Um, she had a lot of girls there that were stylists and personally, in my own personal opinion, if you want to work at an Ulta salon and you want to be a, 
like a hairstylist there you have to have a good clientele already like a steady clientele to make money who cannot be like straight out of school straight out of school people that don't really know how to do anything i do not recommend that type of salon for you to start off once you already know how to cut hair you know how to do hair color you know how to do everything then that would be a good place to you know go off but anyways that was one of like the main things um if I had a problem or like I didn't know how to do something, everybody acted like it was a big problem to help me. Um, the brow bar girls, they were so super rude. They just were super dry. Literally nobody. I mean, I'm not that bougie, but at the same time, I can be a little up my own butt too. Like if I want to, if I want to give off those vibes. But honestly, I just could not vibe with anybody. Nobody at this location was nice. No, but like they were talking crap behind each other's back. I would hear it all the time in the back room them talking and gossiping about each other and It just was a really bad environment because just nobody Was nice to each other. Nobody was nice in general. Everybody was up their own butts Everybody was super super stuck up and snobby and it just was not a good place not to mention the manager was all about stats and numbers. She really didn't care about anybody but the numbers. So that basically was it. Um, several, several occasions. I mean, it was very unorganized. I thought there was a way too managers, way too many managers in control. I never knew who to listen to. Um, because everybody would tell me completely different things. I would be left like <sighs> I would go home, they would schedule me for the wrong time, they would put it on my schedule, wrong date, wrong time, they were always messing it up, and then when I would get there, they'd want to send me home, somebody else would be there, it was just a big, big mess, so um, my manager, my salon manager, that is, um, I just ended up, because she, I had her, like, personal cell phone number, and I basically just sent her a text because this wasn't really like, like honestly, this is the most unprofessional. So, I mean, this is the most unprofessional thing to do. I don't recommend doing what I did, but you know, I was just really over it. I just had no respect for this job whatsoever just because of how they were treating me and how they just kind of handled the situation. Don't hire people if you don't need them kind of thing where it was like, if you didn't need me, then don't hire me. And so basically, um, I just texted my manager. It was just, you know, a pretty small little paragraph. And I told her, this is all of my reasons of why I'm quitting. And I just said, I'm not going to be coming back in anymore. And that basically was it. I went about a week later because I was a little scared. I went about a week later and I picked up my last paycheck, which was only like $200 for working I think like two weeks I think I worked there for two weeks and my paycheck was like barely $200 I think if I remember correctly it was like 207 208 something like that and so you know $100 a week I really can't live off that so um yeah I really had no respect for them I really had no respect for that job um that was just a really bad situation I mean not every Ulta is like this I've heard a lot of really good experiences of people working at their Ulta and them actually doing very well and stuff. This was just my experience at Ulta at this particular location, which I think they need a whole like new system or whole new group of staff members at that location because, um, yeah, I don't see them getting, I mean, their numbers were good, but like working there, I just... No wonder they had people constantly quitting and they were constantly hiring people it was because of all of that negative energy. It's just terrible. Anyways, that's the end of this like little story time, I guess, of why I quit Ulta. I had a story time already over this, so um, I probably left out like minor details. I know when I did that, I think it was only like two or three months after I had quit, so it was kind of more fresh in my mind. But those are the main main reasons that I can remember why I no longer work there. Um, I don't miss it. I actually like try not to go to that Ulta if I can't. Um, they have a bad selection of makeup anyways. They literally never have any of the new stuff. So I always go to the one that's actually more main town in the DFW area instead of that one. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the story time. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you guys can always know whenever I, 
whenever I upload new videos. And with that being said, I love you guys so, so much. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.